They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Cause you'll try all you ever do more than So yesterday, in Princessology, Apple recited the girl's royal headwear line from birth tiara to coronation crown from memory. Holly, that is so fabulous. Hey, little sis, see after school at the Tower Hair Salon? Uh-huh. Love you, big sis. Oh, hey, Nanny Nona. Holly? No, I'm Poppy, the younger twin. Oh, that's right, dear. I'm, I've got some... Uh, News. What is it? You know how your sister is older by three seconds? Well, I made a teeny tiny mistake. Actually, it's you. I don't want to be the next Rapunzel. I'm trying to find my own destiny. And being the next Rapunzel means everything to Holly. How am I going to tell her? And so then I told Apple, look, I know your story better than anyone ever after. And it was a red delicious apple that... Something on your mind? I, uh... Hey! Check out my new hair dryer! So then, in hero class, Daring scaled the tower just like in his story! <laughs> okay, I am totally getting a twin vibe that you are not telling me something. What is it? Okay, well, you know when you know something, but... <laughs> Guess we can't talk now! What? Okay, that's it. Tell me what's going on. Nanny Nana mixed up our birth certificates. And you're the younger twin. What? But that means that... I'm supposed to be the next Rapunzel, not you. But I liked being the next Rapunzel. And I liked being something else. Wait, does anyone else know about this? No. Then what do you say we just keep it as our secret? That way we can both have the destinies we want. I love it. Thanks. I'm just trying to let my hair down. <laughs> After the unfortunate events of Legacy Day, some students are questioning our lesser school legends. Maybe if a certain student used her mirror cast to prove the school legends to be true... Great idea! I'll prove those legends are just right. me today is Cedar Wood, and she's going to help me prove one of those school legends is totally true. Troll tears make awesome shampoo. <gasps> Wait a splinter. Maybe we didn't use enough? We're going to make this just right. Blondie, stop it. <gasps> See? What did I tell you? Oh. Oh. We're here in the Charmatorium to prove another of the school legends. Giants are terrible dancers. Helping me out is Duchess Swan. And Tiny. And a one and a two. But we're supposed to be proving the legends are true. Giants can't dance. Uh, my eyes, I can't see. I'm okay. <sighs> The legend is proved. With the help of Sparrow Hood, we are going to prove playing just the right song will soothe a fearsome griffin into leaving its nest. True, go, fly away. <laughs> By my demo on the mirror net, it's totally outlawed. <laughs> Oh. Headmaster, the show is going great! And I've got so many excellent ideas for more episodes. We can prove that unicorns are really violent. The beanstalks have the sharpest thorns. Oh. Another morning at Ever After High, as the students are getting fairest for another typical day. Typical? There's nothing typical about this day. <laughs> is there anything 
more perfectly charming than my birthday? Um, my birthday? You're such a kidder. I mean, does the entire school celebrate your birthday with a royal cake baking contest? It's not just the royals in the baking contest this year. I'm gonna make you the most excellent apple crumb cake. <laughs> you mean poison apple crumb cake. You wouldn't be the daughter of the evil queen if you didn't try to poison me. Don't you remember Legacy Day? I'm writing my own destiny now. And my cake is just gonna have sugar and cinnamon and a little bit of love. Can you believe it? Raven isn't going to try to poison me. Oh, I need an herbal potion soak. I wish there was something we could do. Yeah, but it's not like you can make Raven poison her. <gasps> Great idea, Ash. I'll pour a little creature concoction into Raven's cake, and Apple will think Raven tried to poison her. We could just get her some cute shoes or something. Oh, daring. A cake with a picture of you on it. <laughs> How charming. And now we have Raven's cake. Taste it. Um, Apple, have you forgotten? I'm your official taster. I have to make sure these cakes are just right. Oh, wow. It's so moist ah! and tender. Ah! What? Apple, I swear... You did try to poison me. Hey, I I'm the one who... Uh, I mean, yes, way to go, Raven, you bad, evil girl. <laughs> Briar. Um, I gotta fly. Aw, oh, why can't I be a phoenix, too? <laughs> oh, well, see ya. Gotta go. Yep, uh, here I go. <laughs> can't answer any questions. Nope, <laughs> I am out of here. And that is how it's done. As the royal team captain and future queen of hearts, I command you to beat those rebels! But we've been trying, and we're just not very good. Lizzie, why don't you give us a royally inspirational speech? Okay, play better or... Off with your head! And Briar, off with your head! And Blondie, okay! This is so not just right! We quit! Yeah, me See too, you, Lizzie. Terribly sorry. Fine! Hunter, your favorite! Veggie oh. burgers with... Oh? <sighs> Lizzie, you know, if you want to have more friends, maybe you shouldn't act so... Excuse me, can I borrow your salt? No! Off with the salt! Oh, oh. Lizzie, why do you always have to yell? My mother says it's the only way to rule your subjects. We're not your subjects. We're your friends. Hey, when did you talk to your mom? She gave me a daily deck of instructions for the whole school year. Rule my way, I'll be watching? <laughs> Being a royal it doesn't mean we have to do exactly what our parents did. I like to think the details are up to us. Mother told me to follow her words. But she didn't say in which order. True friends, not subjects. I will rule my way. <laughs> Oh, hey guys. Well, I've acted a bit off with my friends. Forgive me? Of course. Grab a mallet and let's show those rebels who's wicked. <laughs> <laughs> off with their heads. <laughs> la, 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 la. Um, hey, Apple, could you not sing in the morning? <laughs> Or ever? Oh, you big kidder. Mirror, mirror. So smart and cool. Who's the fairest at this school? You are, Apple White. Greatest mirror ever. I'm gonna borrow some jewelry from Briar. BRB! <laughs> I wonder if some magic can get a little more curl going on here. <laughs> no. <gasps> la, 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 la. Magic mirror. What do you think? What do I think? My mirror! Did something happen while I was gone? Um, no. Not that I remember. This is a royal fairy fail. Come on, we're gonna find you another mirror. My mirror? Here you go. What? You, you don't have a bigger mirror? You never know when you need to look good on the go. 
I'm having trouble finding one that's just right. Some of these are too narrow, too wide. Oh, I don't like the frames. You want to borrow my mirror? Well, okay, just let me do one quick checkaroo. Oh. Ooh. Mm. You're never getting that away from him. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is just the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Apple, I broke your magic mirror. Oh, I know. You what? Duh, you're supposed to be the most evil person ever. I just assumed you did it and then lied about it. Until my new mirror arrives, I know how you can make it up to me. Is this the perfect thing to wear to crown Killer's class? Of course it is, fairest one of... Ow! <laughs> so heavy! Stop breaking character. I don't want to keep calling you the fairest. Come on. Be a good evil roommate. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different ending. Sometimes you gotta find it on your own. It's an open.